the member for Mimico Chancellor Amar Virtual. Monsieur le Président, les Néo-Brunswickois, surtout ceux et celles qui vivent dans la péninsule acadienne et la baie des Chaleurs, ont peur. Ils ne savent pas ce qui cause cette maladie neurologique inconnue, ni comment s'en protéger. Ils cherchent des réponses. Luc Leblanc de Dieppe s'est adressé aux médias pour partager sa situation en raison du manque de réponses qu'il a reçues. Il dit avoir beaucoup de questions et il a déclaré que l'absence de réponses l'a laissé perdu, cherchant des réponses dans un groupe Facebook pour les patients et qu'il y a un grand fossé dans la communication. La ministre de la Santé s'engagera-t-elle à tenir un point de presse public sur ce trouble neurologique inconnu au cours de la semaine prochaine afin de mettre les gens du Nouveau-Brunswick au courant de ce que l'on sait jusqu'à présent? The Minister of Health. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the question. And I, I understand the anxiety that New Brunswickers are feeling about a mysterious illness that we don't we don't have diagnosed. And I think it's really important that there's no information held back here. We have made everything transparent. And I wish we had more information to convey to the public. But we do not have a diagnosis. In fact, because of the fact that Crushfield Jacobs disease was, was ruled out, we are now starting from scratch. And all of the patients that we can need to be re-interviewed and a new path for diagnosis begin. And I understand that it's frustrating waiting <clears throat> for that process to happen. But this is science and it is research. And there are methodical me measures that have to be taken in order to do it properly. And that work has begun and is going to continue on in the next coming weeks. The member for Memorial Centre of our virtual. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Articles by the BBC and the Washington Post last week revealed that the government is looking at the possibility that environmental toxins are causing the disorder. In particular, two suspects are naturally occurring toxins produced by certain types of algae, including domoic, which uh, is responsible for the deadly outbreak that contaminated muscles in PEI in 1987, and BMAA, a neurotoxin produced by blue-green algae, also called cyanobacteria. To get to the bottom of this, we need cooperation from DFO and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency to provide data on the occurrence of these algal blooms in our coastal waters and whether the federal government is monitoring for these toxins in shellfish. Can the Minister of Environment confirm if he has the full cooperation of DFO and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency and has received their monitoring data to determine if these neurotoxins are present in New Brunswick's coastal environment? The Minister of Environment in the gallery. Thank you very much for the, uh, the question. What I can tell you is the Department of Health <clears throat> is the lead department for this investigation. We'll support, with the support of the Department of Health in their investigation, however, we can and will certainly make all that available and all information as soon as it is available <clears throat> for you. Excuse me. As you may know, the Department of Environment and Local Government uh, strives to make data publicly available and hopefully we'll have some of this information in the very near future. Thank you. 